it off. But I'm going to start with the whole MJF thing. So this past week on Wednesday, Samoa Joe <laughs> revealed himself to be working with the devil. It was a big shock, a big surprise, I guess. I think it makes the story kind of make better sense, because why was Samoa Joe helping MJF, trying to keep him healthy? But let's go back one week and let's go over what happened recently leading up to this. So I'm going to go back not to this past Dynamite, but to the one before that on the 20th. It was called Holiday Bash. This past Wednesday was called New Year's Smash. This one was called Holiday Bash. <laughs> so that was the theme of the episode. But one week after Samoa Joe got attacked by the Devil's Masked Henchman here, as we're going to see, he ends up showing that he's one of them. So he's been working with the Devil. But let's watch some of this scene because he came out and he accused MJF of being the devil still because he was laid out and nobody saw him get laid out. Down, gingerly laid down in the back, passed out very conveniently on the ground. We are just Long Island. So he called out MJF. MJF so comes out. In the back, the goons surround the ring, but I don't recall them laying a finger on you, Joe. So let's see. I don't like you now i don't trust you so i'm a little bit confused why am i waiting until december 30th at world's end when i can end your world right now mjf gotta be careful here max he might get some fingers in his eyes. So this is where the Devil's Masked Henchmen come in. So for those of you who don't know, I'll let this run a little bit before I press pause and explain it. So we got to fill the people in on this long-ass story that's been happening. So MJF was a bad guy. He was the Devil. He bragged about it. He had a Devil Mask. And then when he turned into a good guy because he became friends with Adam Cole and found his softer side, someone stole his Devil Mask and has been tormenting him with these masked men. Before, there were just like four. Now, as you're gonna see, like 50 of them come in. And I don't really like when they do this, because they did this in the Dark Order angle a long time ago. Like, who are all these people? These are obviously not gonna be members of this group. It's not gonna be a stable with 30 freaking people. But it's funny looking back on this retrospectively, because Samojo <laughs> is working with them. And then the lights go out, and this is where uh, the devil makes a challenge to them for the ROH world title, which is this past Wednesday, so I'm going to skip to that. Oh, actually, a funny thing about this segment was that Samoa Joe is the one that ended up accepting the challenge. <laughs> so, man, they worked MJF really good here. Kayfabe-wise, if you look at the storyline, man, he got fooled pretty nice. I mean, at the end, he was saying, yeah, why am I trusting you? You're not even doing a good job defending me. So they were going to get down, but... The devil met people came and now I'm going to skip to this past Wednesday and we're going to show the match finally between Samojo and MJF against two mystery masked men. So here they come and here's MJF and then what happens is Samojo is supposed to come out but he's laid out in the back. He's in horrible pain. He's screaming like a little bitch. Listen to him scream. Like, dude, I broke my leg, like, my bone came out of my ankle, I wasn't screaming like this. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> um, I got no comment on that. So MJF, he's like, hell no, I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this myself. And he's gonna do the match two on one. So this is the first instance where we see these guys fight. I don't know if anyone wants to analyze their fighting style to see who it could be. I watched it, no clue. No clue who it is, but they had a little bit of a match. And what happened was, in the end, there was a third guy who came from under the ring and cracked MJF with the pipe. And that led to them hitting MJF with his own move, the Heat Seeker. And just like that, taking the ROH Tag Team titles <laughs> flat off of MJF and Adam Cole who is nowhere to be found so that whole long angle where they were trying to keep title on MJF and Cole till he came back it's over we got new ring of honor tag team champions I don't know who they are it's just two guys <laughs> I'm interested to go to the website and see who they list as the champion <laughs> 
<laughs> so there's gonna be a beat down and then Samoa Joe comes out to save him very dramatically but as I've already spoiled for you guys we know this is all a ru this is some <laughs> some acting job he's doing <laughs> for MJF <laughs> <laughs> Limping well, all the way to the ring up. like that. Let's watch that again. Look at him. Watch, watch some more, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I thought it was real, and I was like, "Wow, good acting." But as I've showed you earlier in our segment here today, the devil, whoever this man is, came up on the screen and sent a message pleasure doing business with you, which is what samoa joe says and then samoa joe does the little head turn <laughs> to, head tilt to the left <laughs> the obligatory heel turn head tilt a little bit this way we got to see that one more time close up right here <laughs> all right well i can't say i hated this but it, so Mojo's gonna grab him, tell him I did this to you. He's not the devil himself, but he's one of the devil's main guys. I don't know, I assume he would be his right hand man or something once it gets revealed. I don't know if this is gonna get revealed tomorrow. For whoever's listening to this, we're recording this before World's End, so if you happen to catch this afterward, we have no idea what happened. That's that though. Anyways, let's lower the volume. I'm gonna get some comments. We could start with Vlad, the wrestling expert. Whatever you want to talk about, that whole scene with the million masked henchmen that came out, the tag title change, the Samoa Joe heel turn. Well, he's already a heel, but he's aligned himself with the devil, the masked devil. Yeah, you know, this. well, look, I, I'm under the opinion that, you know, I'm a big fan of Samoa Joe. I'm a big fan of MJF, but I, I also think this whole devil thing, as you've seen, some of our past shows I'm not too happy with as far as the creative on it, the booking and whatnot. So there's two things that are ridiculous. It's ridiculous to have Ring of Honor tag team champions. And it's also ridiculous that some mass men are the tag team champions, the Ring of Honor. And it was also ridiculous that MJF had defended those titles on like the pay-per-views, like the pre-shows. I mean, there's so much ridiculousness going on with these belts and this angle and everything that's gone on that I don't even know what to make of it, but I'll give them credit for, I guess, trying something. This is something at least. It's not like, it's an angle. It's not Talk a great about angle. Joe though. Is there anything positive you could think about this? Yeah. Um, uh, well, I mean, just that Joe's a professional. He's a pro. He's great. I've always said he's great. He's, he's great in everything that he does as far as pro wrestling, but this is not like the best stuff I've ever seen Joe in. I'm not really feeling this whole thing. But at least it was revealed that he wasn't the devil. I don't know if it means that he's working with the devil, like you said, that he's there, he's his right hand person, or he was just working on a deal just to make sure that like they trick MJF that he kind of gets injured for the match. Maybe that's all that meant. I don't think he's going to be actually in line as far as a member of the group. Or, I mean, I could be wrong. I guess he could be, but I doubt it. Anyway, I think uh, I think he'll be in the group. I think he'll be in the group. I don't think so. I don't think so. Joe's uh, not a guy that's usually in groups. But anyways, just to, real quick, like maybe I like the mafia, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, oh, be be off, yeah. before you move on to what you're saying afterwards, give a prediction for the MJF Joe match. How is it going to end? Okay. Well, like I said, two really good talents. Those are the only things I, I will say about it. But how is it going to end? How is the match going to end? I think they will reveal who the devil is. And I think the devil or his group are probably going to cost MJF. And I think Smojo is going to become the champion. I think, I think it's, it's the way to... I think it's the way to do it. At this point, it makes no sense otherwise. If MJF just retains again, it's going to be... I mean, I'm a big MJF fan, and I think he should have the champ... In this company, I would be I would be fine if he held the title just as long as Roman Reigns, because really, there really is no secondary or third guy that should have the belt over him. He is the whole damn show for them. He's everything. But the way they've built this whole thing up, for it to make sense, I think Joe has to kind of take the title by cheating and by the help of group now the question is who's the group going to be i'm not 100 percent sure i still am leaning towards the kingdom and and roddy and probably adam cole as being the, the four main members of the group so and joe's going to just benefit from them getting involved oh, man. i guess that's this my going to be some day then i'm gonna take the day off and watch this i don't think any of that's <laughs> going to happen but okay let's move on to robert okay. Give us some thoughts, whatever thoughts you've been holding on about uh, what you just saw on the past two Dynamites, and then All your right. predictions. Not 
a huge fan of the angle so far of up to this past episode that the way it ended that wasn't too bad but leading up to this uh, previous dynamite i wasn't really a fan of the angle uh, i did actually analyze the tag team the, those two masked men um i analyzed their movements i was focusing on what moves they did to see if i would be able to catch a hint as to who they could possibly be but they didn't really reveal too much yeah. they, they mimicked other people's they mimicked mjs finish but nothing to really give away their identity so but yeah i did actually analyze it with samoa joe's betrayal i didn't see that coming oh, of course until he tilted his head and i'm like all right he's <laughs> yeah. about to. but um, be, before that the head tilt i didn't actually see the turn happening even though he's already a heel but it was a good ruse it was a good setup to hurt mjf right before the world's end and give samoa joe an advantage leading up to their match for the prediction i don't think mjf is gonna lose actually i still think MJF is still somehow going to retain the title. One of my reasonings for that is because Samoa Joe, he's clearly not the one calling the shots. Whoever is wearing that devil mask is, that's yet to be revealed. And I also do think they're going to reveal who it is at World's End. So Whoever is wearing that devil mask, I'm pretty sure that person wants the title from MJF and will be going after it after the reveal happens, assuming it does happen during the pay-per-view. So that, that's why I don't think Samoa Joe is going to win. And speaking of reveals, I, I know a long time ago, I kind of just went with a long shot prediction saying that Adam Copeland, not Adam Cole, Adam Copeland would be the devil. And I know it's still a long shot, but I'm still going to stick with that prediction just because I, <laughs> I think I think it has to be a somewhat of a surprise. I, I don't want it to be someone that's predictable. There's like three names that keep coming up over and over again. One of them is Adam Cole. One of them is Roderick Strong, and I believe Jack Perry is the other person that yeah. the, those three names keep getting mentioned over and over again. If it turns out to be either one of those three, I feel like it would be too predictable. I, I want there to be some shock value in the reveal. So I would, hope, right, that right. it's, I would hope that it's be, uh, Adam Copeland, but we'll see. That's an interesting thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm with Vlad. I think Samoa Joe is going to win the title tomorrow. But I don't think they're going to reveal who the devil is. I think they might reveal somebody, but I think they think that they got to string this out a little bit longer because they got nothing else going on. That's my guess. But I hope they do. I hope we find out tomorrow and it's some something big that we can what? talk about. Well, then why do you think he's going to win? Somebody's going to help him cheat? Yeah, he's obviously aligned with them. He has allies, but I don't think they're going to actually say who the devil is. I think they might wait on that, but we'll see. I could be wrong. That's just my prediction. I'm just guessing. Because I've seen that before no, in TNA it. when they did Aces and Eights. They yeah, revealed they, them. They dragged it up for a while. Yeah. They revealed one person at a time. Like one week, they would rip off one of the guys' mask off, and next week, the next guy, and the next week, the next guy. And, well, uh, just the only thing I'll say to that is that. The Aces and Eights angle was a lot better than this. So at least in the beginning, at least in the beginning. It also Maybe the masked devil that. man is Bully Ray. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Vince McMahon, damn you. Oh, it was yeah, me, well, Austin. Shoot. It was me all along. <laughs> all right, look, we got a lot to talk about. We got to move on to the next topics. As much as sure. I want to stay and talk about who the devil might be, but let's just wait on 